So, it's been almost a week since this has been announced, and I've been gone and I'm about to leave again, but one of the things I've been looking forward to the most is the latest update for Monster Hunter. The Summer Festival I haven't had a chance to partake in at all. All the event quests are back up, which is cool. Cool Vey Tarith is back. The biggest one, though, and one of the coolest announcements that was around E3 is that Behemoth was going to be an added monster into Monster Hunter that we're going to get armor and gear and weapons and everything like that, and I haven't seen shit. I've been gone all the way for the past week, and this is the first time seeing it, and I'm about to leave again, so before I go, I'm going to watch this because I just want to... Uh, just, let's just see it. Done by Aetherite, the visitor of the land. I wonder if you actually get to interact with Moogles. What? <laughs> Kulu Yaku, put that shit down. You put that shit down. This is not for you to mess with. Goddamn, Behemoth is huge. Alright. Do you actually get to see the armor? The armor, much less the weapons. Oh fuck yeah we do, holy shit! Oh my god, they give you Dragoon armor? Are we serious? Holy shit! Oh my god, you can actually jump? Do the weapons allow you to jump? Please tell me this is true, god damn. Okay, best armor in the game, it's official. Okay, so no, it's... well... They're using Inset Glaive, which is very appropriate. But my god, man, am I glad I just learned Inset Glaive not even that long ago. Holy shit, that is one... Oh, so Kulu Yaku gets its own unique thing as well, and... Oh my god. The Sabotenders turn into, uh... Kulu Jakus. Creepy guys. Angry cats. Motherfucker <laughs> summons meteor. Yeah, that looks pretty amazing. That looks that looks pretty goddamn amazing. Dude. And it's the best poogie of them all. Like by a fucking ton. August 2nd. So that's uh Dude, that's like only a few days before. That is, like, quite literally only a few days before the actual, uh, update for Monster Hunter on PC. So that's, within within a week, we're gonna get the Behemoth update, we're gonna get a ton of new armor, uh, two new bosses, and we're gonna get reasons probably to kill them all. Like, I don't even know. I'd imagine that the Behemoth thing is gonna give you probably the armor, and then maybe tied to... Uh, Kulu Yaku and the crystal thing is gonna be something along the lines of getting the gear for the weapon or some shit like that. That is really sick. I did see the Final Fantasy, uh, 14 side where you actually fight Rathalos and it's... It's super cool, man. It's cool the gear that the Final Fantasy guys get and the scenario that it's putting you into. I'm unfortunately not level 70 in that game to actually get an opportunity to play against it, but... God damn, man. Uh, that's probably my most anticipated update for this game as of yet, next to, like, Devil J-Ho and shit along that line. Yeah, I was about to say, this happens right around EVO, or something really, really damn close to it. In fact, let me take a look. This update is dropping the day we all leave for EVO. Um, the second, or Thursday, August 2nd, is the day I actually go straight to EVO, so I'm unfortunately going to miss this shit. Which is really shitty. I'm not gonna miss it, I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna play the hell out of it, but fuck, man. I really, really wish this was so, wasn't so inconveniently timed. Uh, so by the time I come back from EVO, there's just gonna be a shit ton of Monster Hunter. We're gonna be playing the hell out of this, leading right into the PC release. God, man, there's so much stuff to play right now, and all this shit just keeps dropping. But damn, does that behemoth stuff look really good.